Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and today I have a mini flea market haul for you guys. So I believe my spend here was $30 on glass, $12 on some found objects, $5 on a brass mirror and $16 in the little thrift store because it was slim pickings. The summer here kind of, it dries up the flea market. We've been having like over hundred degree weather. So let's just see what mini haul I got. I did not do a shop with me this day just because I just happened to pop over. So first off is this brass mirror I got for $5 because it is damaged in that, um, the bottom needs to be screwed back on tighter, which I think I can do that. And then I noticed it's missing a key finial on the end. But for $5, I thought that was still a great price. Someone may still like to fix this up, repair it. It could still be, I'd say like a $20 piece if I repair that bottom part. It's got the plastic on the back. I'm trying to see if it says made in anywhere, but it doesn't. So $5. This came from Fran at the flea market. She's a nice lady I've bought some vintage from before. So I'll definitely try to fix that up. And someone may still like it, even though it's missing that piece on the side. And let's see, I don't remember what, okay, so I think, okay, I think I paid 15 for this piece and I don't have a black light. Okay guys, I also moved my light back a little bit because it was, really in my face. <laughs> so actually I'm going to move this because it's reflecting. So I did pay up. So the thing with the flea market this day was there wasn't a lot and everything was kind of pricey, but I thought this was a beautiful piece. I'd never seen one like it before. It is an Amberina moon and stars with the cadmium. So I did pay 15 and I think this one will be okay for a whatnot. So I'm changing up my whatnot sales a lot because they keep messing with the shipping. And now if you, I think if you do a box like over 12 by 12 by 12, um, you as the seller get charged back for oversized packaging. So I have to kind of keep that in mind now doing my glass sales. I can't like bring swung vases like I used to until we see how it works out. Well, I haven't brought swung vases because I can't, you know, I see them and I have to buy them for me. But, you know, something like this, I think is under 12 inches. It would probably be, and I just realized it's got a lot of like glazing mark, but I just thought that was neat. I had never seen this before. So I picked that up for 15 and I did get more glass this day. I want to carefully, this is on a chair, so I don't want it to fall over. So then I picked this up and I do have a lot of bubble wrap in here. And this is a milk glass. I had originally intended to bring this to whatnot and now it'll be posting to my eBay and Etsy due to size. It is a milk glass electric. So it wants to look like one of those oil lights. Um, it is electric, didn't it? Milk glass bottom. It is, I don't see I'm not seeing like the ring of uh, pink around it, which means the ring of fire, which means it's older milk glass. But when I, you see the top of it, you'll know why I got it. Cause it's so awesome. Oh, and then I forgot about this guy. I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. <gasps> it is uranium. Awesome. I picked this up at a yard sale and I did not have my light with me. So I took a chance. So that will be in a whatnot sale and it chipped. It chipped in the bag. So I don't know what, maybe I'll do that as a giveaway or I'll just disclose the little chip as collector only, but yep, that's cool. I got that for a dollar at a yard sale that we happened to see on the way home. So this is gonna be a really, really short video guys, but I still want to share it with you. So for this light and the next two pieces of glass, I paid $30 for everything. So each piece was $10. Um, I got this for 10. She had a booth that had 39 firm on it. I've never seen anything like this before. It's this beautiful purple glass 
and it's got a leaf base and it's got all these great like uh vines and stuff with little it actually looks like a maple leaf and an acorn and i never seen that like you can see how beautiful that purple is oh my gosh it's just it's not even picking it up but it is beautiful amethyst it does not have any glow but for ten dollars it was so unique i'd never seen something like that before that can go on a whatnot sale And then here is the top. To the candle, to the lamp. So it's milk glass and it's got a kitty decal on it. So I definitely thought that was worth the $10. I did not notice there's a bunch of crazing on the top here, on the inside, probably from heat. But how stinking cute is that? It's a cat light. Adorable, right guys? Yeah, I couldn't leave it behind. And then I also picked this up from her because again, I'd never seen glass like this one. And it's this beautiful kind of opalescent blue. I love the double handles. It definitely did not have a, um, it's actually marked. It does have one little sharp corner here, but that's just like a seam mark. Okay guys, this is marked something. It looks like I have something with a nine. Oh, it's Fenton. So it's just the F with a swirl around it and a nine. So it's 90s Fenton. I don't know if you guys can be able to see that. Let's try it this way. Okay. So it's just the letter F and then in a circle and there's a nine outside of it. So that's 90s Fenton. Very nice. Of course, now like I'm noticing like little seam things and stuff. It is sharp on the bottom here in one spot, but I think that that's just the way it was made, but 90s Fenton. And then I think this stuff can go in the garbage because it's just old paper. So I got that. So just some, and that, that can go into whatnot. That'll go into whatnot. Um, at all, I think all the glass you're seeing so far will be in a whatnot, except for the cats. The cats will not. Next, I got this for $12 from my favorite vendor. It's a husband-wife team. They set up under a tree every year, every week. And it was $12 for everything. And I think I got three items, so it was like $4 an item. So the first thing I got is this glass unicorn paperweight. Um, it's, I don't often see unicorns, so I will be putting this in a whatnot glass sale because it's small. And then this will be in a whatnot buyer's, uh, thing. So it's just a little kitty planter, a little more contemporary, has some crazing, probably like a little hobbyist piece, but cute for a mini succulent, small for whatnot. And then this will go online. Um, this is Mikasa. It says Potpourri Gift Set Tender Love, but it's one of the vintage heart trinket dishes. Um, I may put this in my September boudoir sale, or I might put it online first. It does need to be cleaned up, but those were only $4 each. So that wasn't too bad. And now we're gonna get to the few things I bought at the little thrift store at the flea market. And I think my total spend was $16 there. So we'll see. There wasn't a whole lot and they did wrap some of it. So I did get this little pig for $4. I thought he was cute. I think that's just gonna go straight to eBay. Um, I don't think that's gonna go in a variety sale. It does have some crazing. So that'll probably be a straight to eBay Etsy piece. I picked up these really cute little like woven placemats. There were only two. So I did grab those and um, they'll probably be in a vintage kitchen sale. It was $3 for the pair. Or they may come to like a vintage variety Thursday night sale. And then I got a little ginger jar for $3. Just a pretty little ginger jar, ceramic, made in China. And it's been a while, so I don't even remember what I got. Oh, I got a vase. 
Oh, this was pretty. Just two dollars, a little yellow rose vase. Um, I might put that in a glass sale because it's like white frosted glass. And then my last item from this haul is a little piece of etched brass art. It's a little like oil urn. I just thought it was really pretty and I loved how it's enamel and brass and hand painted. It's got this guy here. I, it might be missing a thing on the top, but it's just a fun little decorative urn. It was $4. That'll be a nice little eBay Etsy piece. And that's it guys, that is my mini haul from the flea market. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button guys, I'll be back with you all soon.